Yeah, so that's the good times that I know, that I remember. I'm looking, I remember, it's deep in my heart. Do we need a good times remake? Live action or animated? That was always a question. That was always a question. And years ago, I discovered the facts, the truth about the creation of Good Times. And I said, well, if the original founder, creator of Good Times ain't going to get paid, no, don't do it. Norman Lear is a racist, a hypocrite, a thief, and a liar. Okay. Now, the LA Times wouldn't print that, but I, I'll state it emphatically that that's what he is. He's a racist. A hypocrite, he's a thief, and he's a liar. So that's Eric Monte, the creator of Good Times in 2006, talking about how he got shucked and jived from millions, hundreds of millions of dollars um, by Norman Lear from having to make a settlement based on him creating and Mike Evans creating Good Times. He had to settle for a million dollars. That's all he ever saw. Oh, and I just saw somebody. Takashi, peace. We just talked about Diddy. If you rewind it, I'll go back. But thank you for the cash app, Takashi Mandela. Um, thank you, Takashi. Oh, I forgot the I. Okay, Takashi. I spelled it backwards. I'm typing too fast. But you get the point. Um, okay, so that's... That's the, uh, I'm not, I can't put all these chats. The chat went left. What can we do to write the ship here? I can't put these posts up, but um, we can show you the trailer. So the question for, uh, you know, this, this will in the IMDB, Norman Lear was the executive producer of Good Times, All in the Family, The Jeffersons, uh, a lot of shows. and. Um, one day at a time. And for years, he's had a deal with Netflix to do remakes of shows on his channel, you know, and we've seen updates of one day at a time. We've seen different things. The only thing he hasn't touched or wouldn't probably wouldn't touch is all in the family. But, um, you know, so it was just a matter of time before we got a good times animated series. And I was kind of looking forward to it, to be honest with you. Didn't know what to expect. And then the trailer dropped, and then my jaw dropped shortly after. Has anybody, has everybody seen this yet? I have important news. Let me guess, the state called and they want to cut you a disability check for your face. Hold up, you can get paid for that? This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dummy now? Shit, me for not wearing a condom. Woo! Shadows fall over my heart. It all started with my grandfather, James Evans. My job as the man of this house is to take care of this family no matter what. I just want to let you know, I'm going to take good care of Gray. <laughs> Gray, who is this n I'm about to kill? Juan, my boyfriend. Daddy, let him go. Baby, you, she come with me. Junior's repeating the 10th grade for the third time. Is there anything you can suggest to help him get to the drive-thru? Can you do OnlyFans? Take off your shoes. Let me see what kind of feet you're working with. To the dark side. Dear Black Heavenly Father, College Redeemer, uh, if you could just help us. Son, it's for you. New phone, who this? All black, everything. At least they ain't got that drug dealing baby under my roof no more. Hmm, man, my mouth ready for some milk right now. Dalvin, why are you so breast obsessed? It's childish, man. Bruh, I'm a baby. I can't get no more childish than that. 
in a nocturnal state of mind. Your neighborhood is a real shithole. It's the system. They put the guns and drugs on the streets. Underneath this black, black sky. This is getting dangerous. I won't just sit back and let you put yourself in harm's way. I love you too damn much. Everything, everything black. The revolution will not be televised. Come on, Rosa Paws. Can't you just enjoy this? Just as good as the Evans of old. Isn't that just dynamite? But the truth is, we're the Evans of new. Bitch, you look like money. What about the struggle? We're black. It'll be here tomorrow. Everything black, black bird, black moon, black sky, black light, black, everything black. Wait a minute. The baby? Little baby? And baby baby? Too many babies around this crib. Yeah. Oh, you want the damn, damn, damn? Okay, hang on. I'll pull it up. Uh, yeah, so that's that's the... Uh, that's, what, that's what they think of us. That's what they think of us. And, um, you know, I, I posted... I'm not sure why it's taking so long. Um, Baby Skits 2... The animation is a disappointing thing to me. It looks so cheap. But, um, yeah, it's going to premiere on Netflix. I love your thumbnail, Ron, Ronsky Edits. But, um, you know, the, the problem... The problem I have with um, this Good Times thing is just... It hurts my soul to think that they would make a cartoon that full of stereotypes and attach it to good times. It's almost like, you know, good times did not, to me, have a lot of stereotypes. I thought it was truthful expression for as far as 70s sitcoms go of, of what was going on in the hood. I grew up in the 70s. I don't look at uh, any of that stuff as being stereotypical. Here we go. That's how I feel when I saw it. I said, um, I'll leave that still up. I So after I saw the trailer, I said, who's, like you said, who's responsible for this, right? Let me see if I can find this. Uh, and we saw Seth MacFarlane's name in there, Norman Lear. Steph Curry, the basketball player, I guess he's... Um, He's uh, part of it, but um, I said, uh, who's Renata Shepard? And uh, she actually answered me. I, I said, let me see if I can find the, uh, the comment. I, have important I said my to Renata Shepard's Instagram account, I said, my soul hurts after watching this. If this were done with Seinfeld, Cheers, or I Love Lucy, White folks would be canceling their subscriptions, not circling their calendars. Anyway, congratulations to you and the hundreds of people who were employed. That's about as nice as I could get. Because I'm sick. I'm sick and tired, folks. I'm I'm go full screen on this. I'm sick and tired of these corporations using black folks as cover to put out racist, stereotypical images of my people. You can make that a gift. 
I'm sick and tired of corporations using black folks for cover to put out racist, stereotypical images of my people. But, um, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> so, yeah, so Renata Shepard. All right, now we got to go into the, we got to do our homework. I'm turning into uh, Yvette Carnell over here. I hate to do it like this, but I invited her on the show. So, and she respectfully declined. I, I said, um, before we get into it, I'll get into it tonight because I feel I feel kind of some kind of way. It hurts my soul after watching this. If this were done with Seinfeld, Cheers, or I Love Lucy, white folks would be canceling their subscriptions, not circling their calendars. Anyway, congratulations to you and the hundreds of people who were employed. And then I put another comment up. I'm trying to find it now. Please, please bear with me, folks. We've got a lot of comments on Real Black Instagram, Real Black Renaissance on Instagram, and Real Black um, for the Gram. So Renata Shepard, she, um, she I, I said, um, Renata Shepard, if you want to have a real conversation about why this hurts so much, I'd be honored to discuss on my YouTube platform with you. And she responded, she said, Real Black, I don't think you need me to discuss why this hurts for you. Just wait and watch the series. Hopefully, your soul feels better after watching the actual episodes. Don't put too much into a trailer. It's a great series that tackles a lot of subject matter important to our community. That's what you think you might be doing but you're not. You're pu you're flooding the airwaves or cable content with more stereotypical images for the world to in embrace or accept as this is how we are. And I hate it. I hate it so much. We're talking about baby. I can't get no more childs than that. Let me find this crack dealing baby. How do you justify this, Renata Shepard? Oh, who this? I mean, I like a black Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm down for this. But all right, they're still in the projects. This is the generation later. I'll turn the sound down. I'll, I'll do my rant with the sound down. I'm sick of these corporations using black people for cover in order to perpetuate stereotypical images of my people. All right. Let's see what you're saying. Step and Fetcher would be enraged by this foolishness. Oh, yeah, let me find let me find this Renata Shepard. So she's been around for a minute, and I know how hard it is in this business to get something, not not just pitch an idea, but to get something made. But something tells me. But this this woman is is running some cover. She's she's cover for white people who want to promote this ignorance. This this stereotypical ignorance. They can't just put it on. You know, with uh, like you said, uh, Ornstein anymore. You got to find a black person to uh, go along with it. Right, so let's let's Google Renata Shepard. I'll call her out today because I'm sick and tired of this bull. Um, or go to her LinkedIn. Let's 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 check out. Oh, I got to join LinkedIn. Can't do it that way. Uh, let's see. Renata Shepard. Renata Shepard. How how is she on Sway? Okay. All right. I don't know if I can call her out as 
badly as I want to. Um, am I logged in? They give me trouble here, folks. Um, yeah. All right. Well, you Google Renata Shepard. I'm having issues here. Black women in Hollywood, Instagram. Okay, there she is. All right, got a picture of her. Um, so she was gracious enough to answer my request to be on the show. I had a lot of questions for her. I said, first off, I know she's too young. She didn't grow up on the original Good Times. So she probably doesn't care. She doesn't see it the same way that I do. Right. And I have no problem with the cartoon. I just don't think it should be called Good Times. I just don't think it should be called Good Times. Um, and, people, and I also understand on a certain level that you've got to meet people where they are, right? So if this is entertaining to a large portion of the population, black people who want to see this type of imagery, and then you throw in some medicine with the ignorance, I get it. I see what you're trying to do. Boondocks did it very successfully. But to call it good times, which was about family and being together, um, despite all obstacles, in my in my opinion, that's what good times is about. Good times is about Eric Monty's growing up in the Cabrini Green projects, and then to just replicate the fact that we're not able to fix anything bothers me yeah she's black i mean i'm not sure where she what her nationality is like it she claims according to one post i looked into that she's from chicago so that's even more offensive to me hey big mix that, that offends me even more that she's from chicago and she feels like that's the image that she wants to put out there about chicago and she's attached, she she was a showrunner on Young Love, which was the um, adaptation of Hair Love. They turned it into a show. So, I mean, she she she's conscious enough. The PJs, yeah, the PJs was a little tough. Fox traded with the PJs as well. The PJs was, I'll, I'll take her away. I don't need to put her on blast all day long. I mean, congratulations to her. Maybe Jimmy Walker's exact. Oh, I meant to bring. Um, well, let me show you that. I'll play the trailer again because I'm sick and tired. I got to show you something. Um, Estero would not approve. Absolutely. Um, I'm sick and tired of these corporations using black people for cover. So they can perpetuate stereotypical images of my people. All right, I, I got to step away for a second. So I'm going to play this real quick and then I'll show you something cool. Check for your face. Hold up. You can get paid for that? This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dummy now? Shit. Me for not wearing a condom. Woo! Shadows fall over my heart. It all started with my grandfather, James Evans. My job as the man of this house is to take care of this family no matter what. I just want to let you know, I'm going to take good care of Gray. <laughs> Gray, who is this n I'm about to kill? Juan, my boyfriend. Daddy, let him go. Baby, you should come with me. Junior's repeating the 10th grade for the third time. Is there anything you can suggest to help him get to the drive-thru? Can you do OnlyFans? Take off your shoes. Let me see what kind of feet you're working with. Renanda Shepard. All right. Anyway. Um, white shadow damage from where my ball could <laughs> draw from. What does that mean? I don't even get it. Well, Norman Lear was a big part of this show. He he was the producer. Let's go back. He took credit for this. Uh, he took credit for Norman. This is his last. 
credit. We have to remember something. I can't find the uh, the credit slip slate. Yeah. Anyway, PJ's to 2024. The PJ's actually had heart, you know. Um, as as ignorant as it was, you know, showing the drug addict and all that other stuff. Um, the PJ's to me was sort of a, a precursor to um, the Bernie Mac show. Yeah, uh, Bernie. Well, yeah, Norman Lear is dead, but he he signed off on it. Yeah, he's the pictures of of uh, Renata. Let me see if I can find it. There's. Let's see if it comes up. Um, yeah, so that's that's Norman Lear with Renata Shepard. So. Um, and her husband, I believe that's, or maybe I'm not sure who the brother is. Um, yeah. So exactly. That's, that's what bothers me, Mo, is that this is, this it becomes globalized, these stereotypical images and it's, it's bad enough as it is, you know? So we, yeah, yeah, way, way, way bigger problem. So, you know, hopefully they don't renew this thing and give us hours and hours more of this crap. But, you know, back to my point. Again, premise. I'm sick and tired of these corporations using black people for cover in order to perpetuate these stereotypical images of my people, right? So... Um, yeah, why name it good times? You know, uh, you can't get this show made if it's just Seth MacFarlane and Norman Lear. You've got to get Steph Curry on board and you've got to get Renata Shepard on board. And this happens a lot where they'll say, oh, we got this great idea or somebody will come in and, and do a song and dance and then the next black movie is going to get made. But, you know, you just can't, you got to use a black person for cover, right? I've seen it happen as far back as, oh, let's do um, a black remake of uh, Three Men and a Baby. And this was Eddie Griffin's idea, you know. But, he, you know, so we're going to call it My Baby Daddy, you know. And, um, you know, this doesn't get made by Miramax if they don't have black people on board. You know, yeah, it hits differently with me because I'm an '80s baby who grew up in the suburbs, so I saw the ki how the kids would make fun of shows like these. I got to share this with you real fast. So, you know, I got this. Uh, you know, so I, I put in my work. I wish this was in better condition, but you can see that, right? So JJ himself, I got a chance to meet, and you know, not the. Best experience, but he shouted us out. He wouldn't do an interview. That's why it wasn't a good experience. Like, he just refused to sit down in front of the camera and talk. But um, JJ, nice enough guy out there doing his thing. He's like 76 years old now, I think. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Norman Lear is able to practice racism from the grave. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I mean, you know, this doesn't get made. I mean, Norman Lear might have had an idea. Let's let's turn good times into a cartoon. And I'm sure there are probably 50, if not 100, pitches. How can we make this happen? Mr. Lear, how can we make this happen? And this is the best that you can make? You know, that's what bothers me. Um, yeah. Money will always perpetuate, promote stereotypes is about fear. Create your own show, be original, stop trying to ride on it. Well, unfortunately, AD1, 
the name of the game now is remakes and reboots. There's very little original work being made in Hollywood at this point. So if you have any kind of intellectual property and you can, you can um, exploit, you're going to do that because there's a built-in. That's what I wanted. Yeah, these these culprits. Um, <laughs> what? Don't don't give Norman Lear a pass, please. Don't give Norman Lear a pass. He's 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 a culprit. You know, he's he's collecting money. He was the first person to get a check off this idea. Right? It's a joke. Yeah, well, 101, he's, and how many billions of dollars do you have? Did he need to sign off on this thing? You know, never forget, as they say. They say, never forget. Never forget. Norman Lear is a racist, a hypocrite, a thief, and a liar. Yeah, so. Um. The fact that 50 years... Uh, exactly. Well, I mean, they're going to keep... I mean, I there's, there's going to be conceit. If it's good times, it's going to be set in Cabrini Green, right? That's that's number one. But out of all the ideas that they could have exploited and turned into animation, this is... They must have had a lottery. What is the most offensive thing that we can do? What What is... I mean, I know it's clickbait, and we're all here watching because it's clickbait. But at the same time, why? Why? Never forget. Okay. Now, the LA Times wouldn't print that, but I, I'll state it emphatically that that's what he is. He's a racist, a hypocrite, he's a thief, and he's a liar. Let's see. He's right here. He ain't have time... He ain't have to sign off. I'm, you know, well, I mean, that's, they're cuddling up, you know. And he, and he, um, he was in good shape. It wasn't like he was feeble minded. You know, his money took care of him, Norman Lear. Um, yeah. His money took care of him. Drug dealing infant son. Yeah, what is that? Thank you. At the end of Good Times, I thought they got out of the projects. Just don't call it Good Times. Call it ignorant-ish if you want. And do what you want with it, you know. Call it ignorant-ish. So... Anyway, I think we've destroyed all opportunity for Renata Shepard to come on the show. I've vented. I feel a little bit better. I'm still upset because it's it's unnecessary. Didn't have to happen this way. Didn't have to happen this way. But um, you know, that's that's what we get. We get we get the government we deserve. So um, shout out to all the creative team that um, was a part of this. I mean, there's some very talented people involved in it. And I, I trust that they wouldn't have um, gotten involved if, if they thought it was going to be garbage. So, but, um, you know, hopefully people don't watch the show and they just move on. But I wouldn't have even aired this thing. I wouldn't, it wouldn't have gone past go for me um, if I had to, I can't even imagine what what the meetings in the writers' room was like for this stuff. You know, oh, we're gonna have a crack dealing baby. Oh, and we're gonna curse and we're gonna do all this other stuff. You know, I mean, it's just ignorant. Call it what it is, ignorant ish. 